Okay, what we're going to look at now is quadratic equations with a parabola. Now, this is very similar to what we already did. Okay, it's just a slight extension of it for the Wiskunda B students because what we're going to be looking at now is what happens when the result is a little bit different. Okay, so for example, let's say that we have a quadratic equation with a parameter, which is fpx is equal to uh, x squared plus px minus 4p. Okay, so let's say that we have this parabola. All right, it's got two p's in it. Fine, that doesn't matter. Okay, but what does matter is that I want to know where it will have at least or where it will have two solutions. Or for so for which value of p will this have two solutions? That's what we're going to look at. Okay, so we know that firstly this is a quadratic equation. We have x squared as our highest power of x. So we know with a quadratic equation that if we want to have two solutions, then the discriminant d has to be greater than zero. Okay, now in this case d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. And what we have here for b is p, so it's going to be p squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is minus 4p. Okay? So, we're going to get here that d is p squared plus 16p. And this is our discriminant. Okay? Now we want to know where this is going to be greater than zero. So we can now say p squared plus 16p is greater than zero. This is what we are looking for because we want the discriminant to be greater than zero. Now, we now have a quadratic equation, all right? And this now requires a little bit more thinking. This is a quadratic inequality. Okay, so we need to think a little bit more here. So firstly, we have two terms here. Uh, both with a p in it, so we can take p as a factor, and then we're going to get p plus 16 is equal to 0, and this is going to find us our interception points, okay? So we get p equals 0, or p is equal to minus 16. But remember, our equation originally, our inequality, had an uh, inequality symbol in it, okay? That means our answer should as well. So we need to think about what we're going to do here. Now, we have p squared plus 16p. That is a parabola. And I told you guys earlier that if you have a parabola in an inequality, then you must draw a sketch. Okay? So draw a little sketch over here. Okay? Now, that's not a very good sketch because we know that our parabola goes through 0 and minus 16. Okay? Because we've calculated that here. Okay, and we know that it's a happy parabola, so we're drawing a sketch like this. Now, what makes this a little bit confusing for most people is that this is a uh, this is a quadratic representing just the values of p. Okay, this is not our original quadratic equation at the top. A lot of people get very confused about that because they think that this parabola we are looking at now is the original parabola up at the top, okay? It is not. This parabola we are looking at is just the representation of the discriminant. So this just shows us our possible values of P. Now we know this value here is minus 16 and this value here is zero, okay? And we wanna know where the parabola, I'm gonna highlight this, the parabola is above zero. Okay, so where is it above zero? It's above zero outside here. Okay, and outside on the other side as well. So this is where our parabola is above zero. That means our um, on our x-axis we're going to circle the minus 16, which we've already done, and go outwards. 
and we're going to do the same on the other one. So we know that x has to be lower than minus 16. You can see that here. We've circled green and we've gone lower. So x is less than minus 16 or x is higher than 0 because that's what we can see on the other side. So x is greater than 0. And that's our solution. Oh, sorry, these are not x's. These should be p's. So p is less than 16 or p is greater than 0. It, anything in those range. So if we make p minus 18 or minus 20, or if we make p 1 or 5, then both of those cases will give us two solutions for, for our um, original equation. Okay. And that is that. Now, some tips for this. Always draw the sketch, okay? As I said, most people get a little bit confused because we started with one parabola, but what we're working down here with is a different parabola, okay? It's a little bit confusing, but it's something that you will just need to get used to, okay? But just please remember, always draw a sketch if, you're, uh, if you have a parabola in an inequality, okay? You're going to need this next year as well, both in Maths A and Maths B, okay?